Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a look using my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I haven't used this palette in a while so I wanted to play around with it today. I don't have foundation or concealer on yet like I usually do in the beginning of my videos because I wanted to try out some makeup tape today. The one I'm using today is from Vertex Beauty. But without further ado, let's just jump on into this palette. So first things first, I'm going to take this Morphe M321 brush and go into this shade right here called Tongue Pop. And I'm just going to focus that in my crease area right here. So now that I have that nice light peachy shade down, I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to go in with the shade called Cavity, which is this bright pink right here. And I'm just going to take that pink and just build it into my crease, the same way I did with the peach shade, except I'm going to keep it a little bit lower than the first shade I used. And I will also be using this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro number no. 8 brush just to continue building up those colors. So now I have those two shades built up how I want. I'm going to go in with the shade Root Canal, which is this really beautiful purple over here. And I'm just going to do the same thing where I just add it to the bottom to kind of deepen it a little bit. And if it's not dark enough, then I might go in with the shade underneath it, which is Coma, which is right here. But I'll try Root Canal first and we'll see how it looks. So the shade Root Canal is showing up, which you can see right there, so I'm just going to stick with that shade for now and not go into the darker one that I mentioned. So another brush that I'm using is also the e.l.f. Blending Eye Brush, which is a little bit denser. I like to use it, as you can see I got some of that light peachy shade on there, the first shade that I use, and I like to use it just to kind of build up the lightest shade if it gets a little lost after I've done a lot of blending and stuff. So now I'm just taking a Q-tip with some micellar water on the end of it and I'm just going to cut my crease with that makeup remover so I remove any shadow that got on my lid so that way when I do a cut crease later it'll be nice and clean and it won't like mix in with the pinks and purples. So now that I have a nice clean base for my concealer, I'm going to go in with this acrylic paintbrush and some Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer, and I'm just going to put that concealer over where I removed that eyeshadow. So while I still have this makeup tape right here that's giving me that nice sharp edge, I think I'm going to do some winged liner. I'm going to use the Sephora Waterproof Felt Liner in the shade Little Black Dress right here. Alright, so I take it back. I tried doing a winged eyeliner and I didn't like how it was looking, so I just did some regular liner just to line my upper lash line right here. So now I'm going to take off this beauty tape I have right here and I'm just going to do my foundation and my concealer and my powder and then I will get into the rest of the look. So now that I have my foundation and concealer on and all that fun stuff, I'm going to take that brush I was using earlier, which is the Morphe M321 and this little Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush right here, which is the JH39. And I'm going to use these two just to bring these same shades and just to bring them down to my lower lash line. So 
So now I'm just going to put on some mascara and some false lashes real quick. So I want to add a little shimmer. This is from NYX. It's their Liquid Crystal Body Liner in the shade Crystal Pink. And I'm just going to take that and put it on the edge of that cut crease that I have up here. So I'm going to dip back into the palette one more time using this little detail brush right here. And I'm going to go into the shade Sweetener, which is right here, which is a nice, almost a duochrome peachy shimmer shade. And I'm just going to put that on this little space I have right here just to kind of brighten up the inner corner a little bit. So final step is going to be highlighter. I'm going to take that same little detail brush that I just wiped off really quick. And I'm going to go in with my Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlight Palette and I'm going to use this shade right here and just pop that a little bit in the inner corner and on the brow bone right here. So here is the final makeup look you see right here. I will insert a clip of what this looks like in natural lighting, but thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, it would mean a lot to me if you liked and or subscribed. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.